Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter, specifically how we can find the perimeter of regular shapes, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. Now it might not seem like a math term, but this word regular is actually a pretty important vocabulary term. What this means is a regular shape that is a type of shape that has equal sides and it also has equal angles. So when you have a regular shape, that means you can guarantee that every side length is the same and every angle is the same. Now, we have a regular triangle right here, but we actually have a specific name for this triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. And just like uh, a few other shapes that have specific names if they're regular, most of them are just going to be called a regular hexagon or a regular decagon or a regular octagon. But regular triangles are called equilateral triangles. Regular quadrilaterals are called squares. So let's look at how we can find the perimeter of this regular triangle or this equilateral triangle. Well, we know the perimeter is going to be all three sides. This is a three-sided shape. So the perimeter here is going to be the side plus the side plus the side, right? That's how you find any perimeter. You just add up all the sides. Or we can do this. We can say perimeter equals, in this case, 3s. 3 times s because there are three sides. And so let's see what we have. The whole thing is 45, so I'm going to replace this perimeter with 45. So 45 inches equals 3 times, I'm going to put the s inside the parentheses just so it doesn't look like a 5. So 3 times s. So 3 times what makes 45? Well, we might not know our facts up that far, but we can kind of get close, right? We can say 3 times 10 is going to get me 30. And 30 from 45, that's going to leave me 15. So 3 times what makes 15? Well, that's 3 times 5. So if you don't know your 15s or your 3s past 12, you can say, well, it looks like 10 and 5, that's going to make 15. It looks like 15. Okay, let's double check. 15 times 3, or we can do 15 plus 15 plus 15. It's all going to work out the same. That is going to be 45. So my side length is going to be 15 inches, because 15 times 3 makes 45. Let's look at another example. So this is a regular hexagon. It doesn't have a specific uh, name like an equilateral triangle or a square. This is just a regular hexagon. This is going to be a little bit simpler because look, we actually have the side length here, 19 inches. And so if we want, we can write 19 inches around all six of these sides. Our job here is just to find what is the perimeter. Well, remember, the perimeter is all the sides added together. And in this case, it's going to be side plus side plus side plus side plus side plus side. There's six of them. So we want six sides. We can either do repeated addition if we really want to. 19 plus 19 plus 19. Six different times, but you know, in third grade, we've been working on two by one multiplication. We could also look at it as perimeter equals, in this case, six times the side, or six times 19. And you could show multiplication by just having six and then a parentheses and a number inside. So what's 19 times six? Well, that's 54. That's going to be 114, so 114 inches.